You're watching the Tish 21. What is going on ladies and gentlemen it's your boy Natish21 back with another video and today I finally have a little bit of a G35 update for you guys we are on our way right now to Gordbush performance and we are going to check out the progress on the fully built VQ35 DE wait a second Woo! oh listen to that V8 oh my god disgusting so just to give you guys an update we are currently waiting for the engine to get finished and that engine has been we've been waiting a little bit so in case you guys haven't been following up with the channel we did have an issue with the uh input shaft snapping a while back and we sent the motor off to gord bush to get refreshed just to make sure everything was okay because when that input shaft snapped it kind of went around and messed up a bunch of shit behind the engine messed up with the block webbing etc upper oil pan and then we ended up doing closed deck and hoops this time just to give it a little bit more security so right now we're going to see the progress update on that block and uh, see where we're at with that um, in case you haven't been keeping up with the E92 M3 we currently have the Sencal Motorsports full titanium exhaust on it with active baffle so now we even have the ability to open and close that with the valve so look at this quiet <laughs> so that is definitely something I'm really happy we added onto the E92 M3 so uh, enjoy the drive there guys I'm gonna give you some video clips of the exhaust while we get there enjoy City's not what it used to be. Where did I go? Actually, nowhere. <laughs> it's crazy. I brought this car because I wanted to hear it and enjoy it while we, you know we go down to the shop. And imagine I had the AMG already parked outside, and this was clean parked inside. And here we are. I brought this, and it rained. Also, guys, let me know what you guys think about the new shift knob. We picked up a F10 M5 shift shift knob and retrofitted it to the E92 M3. It's a, it's a shorter shift knob, and it has this uh, metal ring on it. It's also a weighted gear knob as well. Uh, definitely way different than this factory shift knob, which was kind of skinnier and like longer and taller. But yeah, let me know what you guys think on that. I think it looks way nicer. It's also factory illuminated, just like the stock shifter on this car. So at nighttime, it actually lights up beautifully. Got the Z with a little wing on it. That's a little wing. That's definitely not a little wing. <laughs> Crazy how much sound you get even in like fifth gear. Like listen to this. That's insane. <laughs> oh. in the middle of nowhere with your truck ass all right boys here we are gord bush performance well, at least the at least the rain didn't fuck it up too much sat on inside all right guys check it out we got gord over there in the back he's hard at work right now so uh we have the motor here and it's basically underway check it out we got the new pistons installed in there now these are the 96 mil pistons uh, uh, to fit the newly css upper deck so check this out so as you can see these coolant passages has now been filled out by css 
And uh, so now this new 96 mil piston instead of the 95 five piston, which we had before is what we have replaced it with. And uh, check it out there. We got the dynasty billet girdle over there and the bottom end's essentially just done. It's ready to go. And then over here, as you can see, we have the heads, which have the actual service done by TKM Performance, which is the mini hoops. You can see these little rings that are in place over here. So those are there to just give a better seal on the uh, Dynasty head gasket that we're gonna be using in conjunction here to get a really good seal on the head. And I just finished a phone call, guys, with Liberty Gears just now, who has the billet input shaft that's gonna be going into the actual uh, transmission. Now, uh, if you guys didn't catch up from before, we actually blew the old input shaft while the motor was going from a three to four harsh gear change. And it, when it snapped, it basically went around and it damaged a bunch of shit. It messed up the entire bell housing of the transmission and it even messed with the webbing, like this kind of webbing here on the block. And it even broke off this mounting point here where the actual uh, uh, you know, tranny mounts to the block and even the starter motor uh, part of the upper oil pan that's gonna be going on here later on was damaged. So we had to basically get a new upper oil pan. We even had to get a new core block just to basically put this back together. So it, it sucks, like we didn't blow the transmission, we didn't blow the motor, but because of that, ha what happened, we messed, messed up the block, messed up the upper oil pan, messed up the transmission housing. So now we have to kind of just redo the whole thing. So. Uh, we're still reusing the same um, the crank. We're still using the same girdle. We're still using the same rods. Uh, we just put a refresh set of bearings in it and the new pistons this time just because of the, uh, the CSS process requires you to run a larger size piston because they kind of distort the cylinders a little bit from what I, heard, what I learned. And uh, we're still using the same L19 head studs, but these are not just a regular VQ head studs. These are the actual uh, GTR R35 L19 upgrade. Now, as you guys recall, we were previously running the JWT C9 cams. that just gave that insanely deep, gargly kind of uh, idle tone that you guys remember in the old video. I'll put, a, I'll put a clip of that right here. I really loved that sound that we had, but it was just too top-endy. There was no mid-range power at all. So now we're going back to the old cam, which was a J uh, JWT C8 cam, which had way hella big mid-range, um, but it was a little bit lacking on the top end, but I think that made for a much faster car, especially compared to the 6130 numbers and things like that. So that's what I want to go back for. It made for a more fun to drive car. And uh, this motor should be ready, guys, by the end of this week. We got the new turbo kit piping with the larger diameter. So there's quite a few little couple things going on that's gonna make this G35 absolutely sing this time around, guys. I cannot wait to bring this car back to you guys. Like, don't get me wrong, the AMG's nice, the M3 is wicked, but nothing compares to how awesome this G was when it was running on the road, guys. So, and I know you guys are dying. I get I see the IG comments, I see the IG DM for this car again and uh so i will get it to you guys as soon as possible so that is the update for you guys on the g35 guys we're gonna have this to you guys very soon oh i'm gonna get the paint fix on this or wrap it guys for you guys one day but for now it's still looking pretty damn good i think the only thing missing right now i think is the goddamn steering wheel it's so beat up like i hate like even the top man nah it's just ain't it we gotta fix this guys so we got this now gotta fix this slowly slowly guys i assure you i will bring this car back from clap to you know clean it's gonna happen sooner or later ah uh, look at that we got the sun out today downshifts guys god damn to 
die for. Like just such aggressive, sharp. I've been going to first. <laughs> Takes too, like you said. Even like the higher end gears are very like very smooth tall, and fast. Very smooth yeah, and yeah, fast. yeah. Like this is sixth. Nah, that's. Yeah. You could beat my M3 in sixth. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it down right away. Oh, the shifts are good. Paddle is like pretty much immediate, right? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, this one was just trying. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> Did a nice little wash on the E92 M3. Chose to bring this out today because it was somehow the cleaner of the two. I don't know why I chose this. I should have just should have chosen to wash the uh, AMG. It was far filthier, but felt like driving some stick shift today, guys. No diddy. The next thing we need to address on this is going to be the paint. I, I'm going to get this thing addressed. Either we're going to repaint it or just do a wrap or something. But definitely getting addressed for sure. But I'm not going to lie, it's looking good. Definitely with the new suspension, it looks a lot better. The fitment looks cleaner too. Um, just gotta get those carbon side blades put on. And then uh, we gotta put the carbon diffuser on as well. And uh, other than that, I don't know, with regards to the fitment, right now it is pretty perfect. Like the rear is absolutely spot on. I do have a 12 mil spacer I might consider throwing on just to see if we can get these to poke just a bit. And then yeah, just other than the paint, that's pretty much it. We just gotta get the just gotta get the paint addressed but damn the blue is kind of nice i wouldn't mind even just repainting it this one it's clean and shining nice it looks gorgeous and then we have my buddy martin's dct e92 over here as well He has a nice carbon setup on his with the diff uh, more aggressive diffuser than the one I'm getting, as well as the carbon side blades already. He's also got the Brembo brake kit on it. That's something I definitely need to probably look into. God damn, such a clean setup on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos of the G and AMG. I also drop videos of all kinds of other epic builds that you do not want to miss. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell with the notification so you know exactly when I drop a video. See you next time.